Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Do you know what I think we're going to ring today? I think we'll ring old Peaky Blinder. We'll ring Big V from Midlands, see how he's doing. Oops. There you go. How are you doing, Big V? You all right? I'm good, mate. How are you, Ross? I'm all right, mate. What have you been up to? Well, I'm doing my exercise, mate. I've done a bit of yoga this morning. Yoga? Oh. Yeah, man. <laughs> Go on, man. Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's not too bad, man. It's literally just like the first thing. It was quite short, do you know what I mean? So it's just sort of like getting mentally um, sort of, you know, ready for the day. But, uh, yeah, I'm good, mate. How's yourself? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. You've got some questions for me, haven't you? I have, mate. Yeah, I've got some questions. Good, man. Go on, then. Fire away. Sweet. Hold on a minute. Here we go. So, in your opinion, Ross, who would you say is the best manipulator in UK boxing at the moment? Who's the best what? Manipulator. You'd have to say Eddie Earn, wouldn't you? Eddie Earn, he's, uh, he's played everybody, hasn't he? He's played it to a T. He's played it from uh, social media. You know, he's he's got IFL in his pocket, boxing social in his pocket, behind the gloves in his pocket, Hatman Strikes Back, sporting icons, Michael Benson. They're all eating off the same plate and... Uh, these people have, I can explain it, they've over, they've about a million subscribers, aren't they, if you add them all up, and it, 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 yeah. it, it's a big niche in the yeah. boxing uh, community, and if you can get all these platforms on side, your job's done for you, because Eddie Earn only has to fart and say something about Wilder, and all these channels run with it, or he'll say something about Joshua, or Dylan White, and they all run with it. So, I'd say he's the biggest manipulator in UK boxing. Definitely, mate. Also, I'd like to make a point as well. I think Eddie as well, like you said, he's a massive manipulator, but in terms of the governing bodies as well. Oh. Um, you Con know, like, for example, with the Conor Benson. Conor Benson, yeah. He's ranked him in the WBA. Do you know what I mean? It's he's not now. They've took him out. Oh, they kicked him out then, mate? They took him out since he were ranked number six by the WBA. There was that much stink, uh, and he and he's won about four fights on trot since then. There's that bit, there's been that much stink kicked up that uh, Conor Ben's been took out. He's not in the he's not in the rankings now. So yeah, that's that, I think that's down to obviously peer pressure, isn't it, off the uh, boxing public? Because obviously everyone's been questioning questioning his ranking, and obviously he's not really done anything to get that, has he? Yeah, well, what happens is a fighter when you go and match them, they'll have it wrote into his contract with his sponsors that they're going to pay him X amount if they can get him into the top fifteen or top ten or pick a belt yeah. up, and they'll have it in. The, so what they'll do, they'll manipulate it, get him in rankings, and then get the cuts, won't they? Everybody eats, don't they? The people looking after Conor Ben commercially, which I believe is Wasserman Group, is it? Charlie Sims as lot. They'll all eat off that, and all Eddie's got to do is manipulate the WBA to get him in the rankings. Now, these sponsors, who he has, they'll not know uh, about rankings and that when they draw contracts. So they'll just they'll, his team will put it to them and say, "Look, if Connor gets world ranked, uh, you know, is, is there a bonus?" And that's how it works. And so everybody plays the little part behind the scenes. So, but I wish Connor been well. But I don't rate him as a fighter. I don't rate him as a fighter, and uh, I hope Anthony to Tomlinson ices him when they fight. You think that's his dad's name? I think. Well, yeah, you could say that, couldn't you? Well, he's not fought for a British title yet, has he? No. To say he's worked, he's been highly ranked, and what they're doing, they're picking up money and putting money, buying properties, and this and that. And they're just all earning. They're just prolonging the inevitable. They don't want it to end. So what they'll do, they'll keep. He'll go to 25 and oh, him, Conor Ben. He'll not. Why does he want to fight anybody when he can pick up thousands of pounds and sponsorship and be known as a boxer and a tough guy? 
when he's not fighting anybody. Who's his best win? Who? Can't even name it, mate. Can't even name no. it. That, that's it. Piano, is it? Piano or something in the rematch. I thought he lost the first one. So it, it's... it's an, he's, a, he's shocking, but he's learning his craft and his soul. But he's learning his craft and earning thousands of pounds. But that's the thing, mate. When, I'm, when I talk about the name, that's the thing. Because when you think about it, if he didn't have the name then, it's a bit like you guys, Jimmy. If they didn't have mm -hmm. those names, those famous names, then yeah. like the other kids wouldn't they? Obviously, go through the ranks area, you know, then English, then British, Commonwealth, European. And that would be the traditional way, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that would. Uh, I agree, mate. I agree, yeah. I agree, yeah. Yeah. Also, as well, regarding his, obviously Eddie Hearn and stuff, I just don't like the way that the fashion was that. I just don't like the way, and obviously um, Eddie Hearn's video out saying that Wilder's finished now. Well, he's, only, he's, only, he's only lost once. Yeah, I mean Wilder's lost once and he's finished, but Derek Chisora's in a pay-per-view against Usek. He's been knocked out several times and he's got nine losses. It's, it's disgusting, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's the thing, man. I mean. Sporting icons and that man strikes back, they have got good boxing knowledge and they do understand the game so I'm not going to hammer them that much but the bias is off the charts because they're obviously getting favours aren't they behind the scenes. The bias is, it's shocking, you've only got to go and look at the channels and look at, go to Sporting Icons channel on YouTube and look on the right hand side, that's all I'm going to say, look on the right hand side. And then look, count the videos, what he's done and, and and watch. Now, these people have not said a dicky bird about the Dazone situation, have they? No, they haven't. Not said a word. None of these people, IFL, Boxing Social, uh, Michael Benson, Sporting Icons, Hatman, and Behind the Gloves, they've not said a word. Why? Anytime anything to do with Dazone, they're straight there. But all of a sudden, these people have lost their voices. In fact, the silence is deafening. <laughs> That's the thing, mate. I think, to be honest with you, they're probably the top way of the earth not to say anything. Yeah, 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 it's not good. You know, probably whispered in their ear, you know what I mean? Hmm. Obviously, he's no, got I very much doubt that Eddie's said anything to them. They just know not to speak about it. He ain't got time to ring ringing them up. They know not to mention that. Now, I saw a comment uh, that somebody sent me saying that somebody sent a, 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 a text or a YouTube text to a sporting icon and said, Sporting icon, you're not uh, putting a video out about the Dazon situation. And his reply was, uh, he, he doesn't know if it's true. But yet, it's in the Financial Times. Uh, it's in the Financial Times, so if it's not true, well, wouldn't the Financial Times be getting sued? And then later on in the day yesterday, obviously, we all seen the link come out. For a shout out to Mike Plowers, is it? He sent me a link and I shared it. The financials with Dazone's financials came out, didn't they? So it is true, it is true. Financial Times reported on it, but yet all these so called boxing media reporters. And not saying a word. Why is that? Does that prove that they're hanging out of the back of Eddie Hearn and that the it's they're getting favours? Is 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 that true? Is the rumour true that they all flew to Saudi for free? Them that went, I believe it is, because I know people who went. I know people who are on the plane, getting back to the Dean White thing, which never happened. You know, we're snakes on a plane or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So, I know people that were there, mate, yeah, people were like, you're not going to believe this. I went, yeah, I've seen it, I've heard. But it is what it is, isn't it? It's just, people need to just be real, be real people, that's all. That's all we want. We want a bit of, we want a bit of fair play, that's all we want, and we'll all be happy. We don't need to keep pulling people up on the bull all the time, because a lot of them, all they talk is just, that's all they talk, mate, utter. 
So, you like that one? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Obviously, UCTV did obviously a video. They're fantastic kids, them, and I can understand, right? I, Ultra Tech and UCTV, I've got so much respect for them boys because they tell it straight and uh, they don't agree with everything I say, but not everybody does, not even Dennis, but you know, I'm opinionated. But uh, that I can understand, though, why they're behind the camera because they want to see some of, some of the yeah. vile stuff I get sent. It's vile, but it's that vile that I'm doing my job. So, because when, when it gets this vile, the, vi the vileness I get is unbelievable, but keep it coming. Because 32 months in, I'm only just getting started. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, but I can understand why they're behind the camera, mate, because it's an horrible game. And yeah. people, it, when you put yourself in front of a camera and you're opinionated, people, you're there to be shot at. I'm there to be shot at. You know, people can pick fault. I mean... Somebody will send me a text in a minute. I forgot his name, but I mean, I've just put my sunglasses on. Porky, got your sunglasses on. You look a weapon. <laughs> what? What's sunglasses got to do with? I've, I've got light shining at me here, lighting stuff, and uh, but you know it's uh, so I've took them off for you today, mate. But it affects people's minds, doesn't it? If you, it's like just watching yeah. Coronation Street, isn't it? We all have a favourite character, or watching yeah. Snooker. We all like Alex Siggins, we all don't like Steve Davis. But it, you're in front of a camera, you're giving an opinion, you're there to be shot at. But I, I'm, all, I'm comfortable with that, I'm alright in my own skin. Uh, other, pe other people seem to have the problem, but it's my opinion, it's not Dennis's opinion, it's my opinion. It's not yeah. Kevin's opinion here. What I say on here is it comes from me. I might put stuff out to help other people, but it's basically what i say is my opinion so people shouldn't get offended but they are but my argument with it all is this why are these people hiding why don't anybody ever come up to me and say something why do they pat me on back but yeah they send stupid emails i don't get it but it's social media isn't it and this is the this is the the this what this is what goes on people want to hide behind a, an identity don't they, they want to call themselves like I don't know, Jim McDonald, he's a bit of a character on here, but why don't you just put, his name might be Barry from Barnsley or whatever, but why don't they just put their own self out and be that person, be, be themselves? I mean, could you imagine getting up in the morning, right, and saying, do you know what, today I'm going to pretend to be Jim McDonald from Coronation Street, an Irishman that beats his wife. That's who I'm going to pretend to be this morning. And I'm going to send Porky Russ a, a text telling him that he's, that he's a weapon. That's what I'm going to do today. And, and I don't get that, but I think now I do, and this is why somebody else has to deal with all that for me, because I used to flick my lid. But I'm, pre I'm pretty cool with it all now, but I didn't used to be. I didn't used to be. I'd, I'd be wanting to go knock on the doors, but now I'm okay about it now. Now channel's doing all right, and I've got my own way with a lot of things. But in the early days, it was first over two years. I was like, "What am I doing here? What have I given up to do? What am I taking on?" But now it's happy days, so I've, I've had a bit of luck. But so it don't bother me now. But you, sir. Hmm. Shout out to Jim McDonnell. Give Liz my best, Jim. I think there's a fake Jim McDonald as well, isn't there? On there, this is in like the, the YouTube world, the social media world. There's a fake Jim and a, a normal Jim, although it's a fictitious character anyway. And, and I think uh, I think Cameron blocked one of them. And the other one will complain, I don't know. But anyway, Jim, you're a character, but why don't you just put your normal voice on and come on here, Jim. Email me, Jim McDonald. Send me your phone number and I'll ring you, you can have your moment. Or any of you other people who've got plenty to say for yourselves, but you're too shy. Send me your phone number, porkycorner at mail.com. We'll have you on channel. And you can act out your fantasies and tell me your name's uh, 
What did I get yesterday? Oh, some guy said he's Sylvester Stallone yesterday in an email, but he spelt he spelt Stallone with a P S P A W L L O N E. I mean, this is what this is what my life's come to, uh, Big V. So, <laughs> but moving on then. Go on, what's your next question? Next question, mate. Is, do you think John Fury's image has been tainted because the fight against Nicky Fio has happened? John Fury. Uh, has John Fury's image taken a battering? Well, he's called out Lennox Lewis, Tony Bellew, Wilder, Mike Tyson, <laughs> and he said he'll fight Mickey Fio, right? Nobody's seen him nobody's seen him have a fight yet. I've seen him have a fight because I went live when he fought Neil Malpaz and I've got the DVD somewhere. Uh, so I've seen him have a fight, but I haven't seen him uh, since 1989 so I, I don't know and John I believe is on a strike so we, so I don't think he's going to want to go out and commit uh, any violence so if he did have a fight it would be better he had it with gloves on I think wouldn't it? What was it like point, John? Uh, he fought Neil Malpaz and he lost on points that's all I'm going to say but he can fight I'm, he can fight but I don't know if he can fight at his age now but when, when when I saw him fight Neil Malpaz, I didn't make him a favourite because he said he, he took the fight on short notice, but it was a central area belt, so I don't know if that's true, but it could have been. But I know he took a lot of fights on short notice um, yeah. just to get just to get a few quid. But he didn't have that many, did he? With 12 and 4 and 1, but he'd been in with Henry Akin one day, who, who won a world title, didn't he? But when he fought Henry, he were 11 and 0, and he got knocked out against him. But uh, he said a lot on social media, Annie, and we have to pull him up yeah. on it, don't we? But if it's a PR stunt, it's a PR stunt. If they're going to fight, they're going to fight. But I think it's it's died a died death, that fight now, hasn't it? Yeah, but something for me, mate, is like, obviously, if he didn't ignore the, obviously, the, the videos, mm. I don't think the general public um, wouldn't have been saying he's been he's talking, obviously, but because, obviously, he responded in such a sort of like, you know, aggressive way and obviously he was ranting and raving on yeah. the video. I think, I don't know, I think the general public have sort of said to him, you're ducking now because obviously you've, you've made a video and you've, you're basically saying, yeah, you accepted it, but then you changed the terms. So I think that's a duck for me, but like you said, obviously, you know, obviously he's clearly a fighting man, obviously, because he's, he's Brent Tyson, isn't he? You know yeah. I mean? Obviously, Shane can fight, still can fight, can't they? All of all, all John Fury's lads can have a row, mate, and they'll do yeah. some. They'll do average man in the street a lot of damage, mate. They can all yeah. have a fight, uh, but I think that too. I think looking at it from outside, too many people got involved. And it, it's supposed to be a fight in Queensby rules for charity, and then there were. Pit, I don't know full ins and outs, but from what I've heard, people, too many people were getting involved and. So much was said on social media and blah de blah and John Fury's gone from putting his set in a good light on the Piers Morgan programme and being a pundit on BT Sport for Tyson's fight. He's put his set in a good light there because he said he was going to heal the world, didn't he, on this morning with Piers and Susanna. And then he's gone to he's gone to the other the other side with this guy that's obviously got under his skin. But that other guy's uh, probably used a bit of uh, uh, mental games on him or something. I don't know, but John looked like he was pretty raging. And if they ever meet, they'll probably have a fight. I think John would probably get stuck straight into him. But the fact it's 250 mile away is probably going to be a deciding factor. Plus, we've got a virus, haven't we? Yeah. Um, who wants to see two 56 year old men fight anyway? Nobody, mate, nobody. If it were Queensby Rules with 16 ounce gloves on and headgear, that'd be alright for me. But I wouldn't want to see it in Billy Joe Saunders' garden or John's garden, so I don't, I don't know. But you'd have thought we after everything John said, he'd be driving down there, wouldn't you, to deal with it? Of course, man. That's the thing, you know. He's a fighting man, so that's what I'm saying. So that's why I'm a bit disappointed. But it's probably thought if something we convinced him, do you know what? You don't need this. You know what I mean? Obviously, you're gonna get yourself in a lot of bother here, so. Leave it, well, know? everything, that, all the good stuff that Tyson's done since yeah, he's come back has been undone, hasn't it? Yeah, of course. So, it has, mate. It has. So, I think maybe John in future, someone else calls him out, I think he should just ignore it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Moving on to the next question. Then, yeah, right? well, yeah. Um, do you see the use of Joshua fight happening, or do you think Eddie will try to swerve the fight? And if it happens, who wins? I think Usyk beats Joshua. Technically, he's a lot better. He's a southpaw. Uh, but I, I think they'll swerve him, and I think they'll pray that Chisora squeaks by Usyk. But I don't think he will. I think he gets bashed up. But I think they will pray that Chisora, uh, who is, as Adam Smith says, rough, tough, rugged. I think they'll hope that Chisora roughs Usyk up. But no, I don't see that happening. I see Usyk schooling Chisora, and I see him swerving Usyk. But I do see them fighting Pulev and then looking for Elenius or Chisora if he can come through. Uh, oh, second, then they'll probably go for them three mandatories on the trot then because we work so hard for these belts, Coogan. That's what they'll do. So they'll try the best. I don't think they want to fight Tyson Fury. No. I don't. I don't think they want to go near Tyson. Uh, serves serves him up. Serves Joshua up. Well, and they know that as well. They want to keep Joshua earning like they did Chris Eubank Senior. They don't want to put him near James Tony, Michael Nunn and Roy Jones, well the one they can fight Ray Close and all them other ones he fought you know Gary Stretch and people like that These, they obviously, for example, Usyk and Joshua though obviously because to me obviously I've seen Usyk so far and obviously the great te technician in team but mm. it, I don't know, people, a lot of people like, have obviously like the doubt and he's a knockout power aren't they so yeah. if it obviously gets to the point do you think Usyk will get the nod in the UK over Joshua? Do I think Usyk would get the nod over Joshua if he went to points? Not a yeah. chance. Not a cat in hell's chance. No. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. So obviously Usyk's got to knock him out. He's got to knock him out, and I think he does. He'll know that as well. Yeah. U Usyk will know he's got to knock him out. Do you know what I think? Though, Paul, I think we'll know more when um, Usyk fights Chisora. I think in terms of his um, technique, mm. you know, his power and stuff like that. Because obviously he fought that. Who did he fight that? Was it Weatherspoon? Chaz Witherspoon. Anyway, that's the one, yeah. And in that fight, he looked a bit rusty, didn't he? In that fight. He's um, a truck truck driver, isn't he, Chaz Witherspoon? Yeah, he did look a bit rusty. I think I think that fight, he just were adjusting to the, the weight, I think. You think he was going through the gears? Yeah, I just think he was going through the gears. He never really looked in trouble, did he? Nah. You think he gave hands a lot, though, wasn't he? I don't know. I think, I think a lot of them shots were riding, personally, but... I think well you're going to get it aren't you against the top 50 guys aren't you but but I, I just think that Chisora I don't think Chisora beats Usyk now. No I think, they know, I think they know that beat down I think they know that. Yeah. So like, it's just a payday for um, Chisora as well obviously. It's, you know a, I mean? it's another pay per view for Chisora. Yeah yeah. He yeah. was dead and buried a couple of years ago wasn't he? Yeah, I did. Well, nobody, nobody seems to call out Caballel, do they? What's happened to him anyway? Because I, I like him as a fighter. He's a bogeyman, isn't he, Caballel? You don't see anybody going near him, do you? Nah. They don't want to talk about him. He's like the person, he's like the white elephant in the room, isn't he, that nobody mentions? I think he gives most of the way to good fight, though, that Caballel. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, he's a good fighter. He's undefeated. He's been a European champion. Dylan White's not even fought for a European yet, has he? That's the, well, well, that's another issue. That's another thing. Yeah, it's a Dylan White situation. You know, I'm the most avoided heavyweight. You know, all this nonsense. But yeah. Um, okay, man. Moving on. Um, we're going to talk about Parker. So, let's get a question. So. What do you think Jersey Park, do you think Jersey Park is overrated? Um, what do you think about his comments regarding the Whitehead Button wanting a rematch? Do I think Joseph Park is overrated? Yes, yeah. I do. I think you would beat him. But I think he's overrated. He don't let his hands go enough for me. He plays it safe all the time. And I think, nice, isn't he? Yeah, that cost him against Joshua. And it cost him yeah. against Dylan White. That's 
Until end. Yeah, I do. I thought he got beat against Ruiz. He got an hometown decision in New Zealand. Yeah, I thought so. Also, well, I'd like to ask you, um, what do you think about Derek Chisora wanting the third fight against White and is he being milked too much? Who wants to see that? Chisora against White. The, the, uh, nobody wants to see it. White got his... Uh, he closed the show out and knocking him out cold, didn't he, last one. So who wants to see that a third time? Because it, it won't be for a belt, would it? So what we're going to do, keep having these on pay-per-view for no belts. I mean, how much longer can this go on? Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see it, mate. Nobody. I think the boy boxing casuals do, though. The casual audience wouldn't mind that because it's a tail, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Mike Tyson, my opinion of him is this, he's a convicted rapist, right, so why are people hanging out at the back of him? He should be discarded, mate, because anybody else from America who was screaming that they were innocent who'd been in jail for rape, people have spit on him. So why is he even relevant? I don't know, I've no opinion on, on him. It, it shouldn't happen, why should they be getting millions and millions of pounds when that money could be going to, to kids coming through? That's my opinion, I don't want to see it. You know, would I watch it? Yeah, but I'm not. I don't. I'm not going to break my neck to watch it. I'd watch it on YouTube when it comes on for free. But no, Mike Tyson needs to crawl away, mate. As far as I'm concerned. The thing with Mike Tyson is, though, as well, I, I've noticed though, you can't speak bad about Mike Tyson. Everything that he's done, like that's bad in his life or whatever, it seems to be just like brushed under the carpet, don't it? And even like, you know, for example, the um, Deontay Wilder. Well, in America, in America, right, what they do, they, they hold these celebrities in high esteem, don't they? Like Michael Jackson, I mean, they don't, they don't want to believe it, do they? No. They don't want to believe it. Now, Mike Tyson, right, if you read his book, he admits to taking steroids and cheating on drug tests and all sorts, doesn't he, in his book? Yeah. And yet, these people are, are, are hanging out at the back of him. These diehards... End of day, mate, is a convicted rapist and he was fat as a pig for a month ago and now all of a sudden he looks like Charles Atlas. So what, what's, what's going on there, mate? So would you let Mike Tyson take your daughter out on a date? No. There you go. Well, there you go. So that's what I always say. Do you know when I meet somebody, I always think, would I let him take my daughter on a date when she's 18? And I think, no, I wouldn't. And if it's like that, I don't want to know. So I'm not a Mike Tyson fan. To be honest with you, when you go through Mike Tyson's career, tell me his top three wins. Michael Spinks. Light heavyweight. Light heavyweight, yeah. Um, Larry. Larry Holmes. Yeah. Larry. Thirty-eight year old plus, two year hard at ring, fat as a pig, Michelin man. Tell me his third best win, Tony Tucker or Frank Bruno? Yeah. Is that it? Is that it? So everybody got carried away, didn't they, a little bit, don't you think? That's the thing, mate. That's what Deontay Wilder did, I think, in one of his videos when he's driving the car. He was talking about that, that Mike Tyson's record, basically saying it's overrated. Yeah. Like, you didn't see what, how, how he's sort of held up in so hot in the boxing community, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's because of the aura around him. He used to walk out to the ring like a primitive caveman, tea towel over his head, where, with that song in the background, Welcome to the Terror Dome, and that's it, and they all bought into the hype, didn't they? And Mike Tyson will be singing for his supper when he's 70, mate, but he's not my cup of tea, I wish he'd just crawl back under a rock. I'll get loads of ammo for saying that, that on here, but people need to look in the mirror and go and look at his record and then have a think, you know? When have you ever seen Mike Tyson in a fight where He's been getting banged about and he's pulled through. He hasn't. All his losses are where he's quit. 
all his losses, he quit in every fight when he got beat. He quit in every single.